Howdy folks, this is Tall Turtle, and welcome back to Eternity SMP, the best place in the entire world, the entire planet, to play Minecraft 1.16, and we're going to go back into the nether today, so I have my gold helmet on, and um, we're going to look for that warp forest, I looked up the coordinates, it's like 500 blocks away from a drop, so blah, but we're going to dig through just below the ceiling, like we did to get to the Soul Sand Valley, and then we'll hopefully find a good spot to drop into Warp Forest. And again, I'll finish off the path system localized to us later. When <laughs> I have that much. Which reminds me, I really got to mine for diamonds and get Silk Touch on a pick. So I can Silk Touch the stone to make it into a smooth stone right above my head there. Instead of having a cobble, making it into stone, making it into smooth stone. That's twice the work. Anywho, I'm just thinking of anything else we can do. I have not yet made a drop down using the um, basalt columns to get down into that one soul sand valley. What's that noise? Where's my dog? Did my dog fall? Dude, what are you doing down there? Get up. Follow me. Follow me. Come here. No, no. Walk after me. Hi, kitty cat in real life. Come on, dog. We got stuff to do. I need you to follow me and sit. There we go. No. Sit. You can sit up there. You can sit up there. I don't care. <laughs> Be a little ornament. Okay. You can sit there. I don't care. How are you doing, virus? You're behaving. Okay, good. First thing we're going to do is we're going to return the soul sand and soul soil that I borrowed from Lady Vivian. So let's go there. Up into the hot air balloon. And then... Um, so as we said in the end of that last episode, my wordy five minute wrap up of the last episode, we will have a nice localized path system just below the nether ceiling. Other people can use it, of course, but no one will probably going to see it's there, to be honest. But it's there in my area, and it will branch out. We're going to build a base at our drop, um, for sure. Just don't know what we're going to do. Do not spoil that cathedral. And then we'll have, in each biome, we'll find a way down to the floor, right? Like the Soul Sand Valley is going to be pretty easy. Because we're going to um, use a basalt column and ladder to get up and down from there. But don't know how we're going to do the other places yet. Anywho, here we go. What are we doing? Arthuria. Alright, we go out the front doors. Like this. And who's on with us today? Nobody. You know, it's funny because I'm in Discord with everybody. And I'll check the Dynamap online. See who's playing. And chat with people that way. And there's always people on. Except when I'm on. Almost always by myself. It's so weird. I guess I have to play at 3 in the morning. I don't get it. It's even a weekend day right now. My kids are doing their own thing. And I have a minute. So I'm going to record. And if I have to splice several minutes together into one video, I will. But anyway, here we go. Let's put back. She doesn't know I'm doing this. Because, um... Um... She doesn't know. Because by the time she watches this video, it would be a month later. <laughs> so there you go, Lady Vivian. Um... I think I'll tell her in Discord. But... Anyway, there it is. All right, we're going into the nether. I am equipped with gold. I have my shield. We can barter. We've got our fire resistance. I mended everything. And um, we're going to use this. And that's about it. We will bridge our way across to the warp forest. It is really far away. I know I could probably drop down that soul sand valley and then go that way. But then we'll have monsters knocking us into... I'm always turned around when I pop back here. Monsters, that'll knock us into um, the lava. Yuck, I don't want to deal with that. So we're going to stay in the ceiling. It's going to be a long journey. I might have to mend my pick a few times. So this could be a video that takes several days to make. That's okay. I like that, though. That's fun, too. All I have to get way ahead. So we're going to run back to our place without using the home warp thing, which I love it and I hate it. I love if I'm like a million miles away getting sand. And it's getting dark and I'm done. I can just hit home and go home. But at the same time, I kind of wish I were forced to run around the server. But I guess it's a great compromise. All right, here we go. Just like anything else, we can choose to not use the warp thing, right? We can choose not to do it. So it's just temptation. Like I stop drinking Coca-Cola until my wife comes home with it. And then once it's gone, I stop again until she comes home with it. All right, here we go. Into our nether portal. Oof, duh, I got to finish this room. And here we go. We also have to finish our little hallway, but I need to mine, like, thousands of pieces of black stone for what we're going to do. Which, as we talked about before, if we come down our hole, our protected glass hole, here we go. 
if you pop out on this level right here, this is where we're going to mine in all directions as far as I can handle it. Because on this level, all resources are here. So I can get them all without going down, just for like resources, right? But we're coming down here. We probably should take one of these because it's going to dump, one of these guys could dump us into the nether below. This will be a base here. That'll be safe. I'll probably make it safe there. And then this is going to... Oh, I did, I did bring my shulker box. Yes, I did. Then this will be our path system. That, torch civilization, don't really need to worry about. That goes nowhere. In terms of, like, the server except Fani's way over there, thousands of blocks away. And over here is nothing either. The world border is actually right about here in Overworld. So this will be a nice path system. We can look around. I love how this biome looks. But there's nothing here of use, really. Um, so we need to go to 484. And then we got to go north. I think it was... Or the 454. Why can't I remember? Because it's 494. 484. So we're going to go this way. Again, this will eventually be bridge across here. I don't really care. Hi, guy. 494 this way, which means we can probably use my turn that I wanted to. There's 94. I don't think we'll miss the warp force if we go all the way to here and go this way. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, That's weird. I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out. So we got one, two, one, two. So we're going to start digging here. There we go. Then we got to go, well, 400 blocks. So we're going to do this together. Um, I'm going to, not all of it together, I'm going to bridge it as I need to, keep an eye on our fire resistance, because we could always have a lava block, or fall into the lava below. And I actually want to use, um, another rack. Alright, it's going to take too long. Oh, see, this is why we have fire resistance, see. Oh, come here. There we go. In fact, it's almost gone. Quit burning me. Quit burning me. I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. Good grief, thank you. Um, aha. This is why we have fire resistance, folks. <laughs> Let's put a torch down here so we can see it. And should we... How should we get down? I guess we could just go around, right? Put a torch here so we know where our path will be. And right now we can just go around. Simple enough, right? Then we'll see where we're at. There it is. We have to keep coming around. And I'm looking at the top right corner to see when the resistance is gone. And it's fading away, so we'll take another one. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, we... Boy, I can't believe how fast... Are these. Oh, I didn't make these eight minutes, that's why. Oh, I'm wasting them. I forgot to make them eight minutes. And now... Glug, glug, glug. There it is. Now they're eight minutes. And here we are. Back in our nether wastes. Mining away. I see something interesting going on here. Ooh, gold. I'm going to get attacked for it this time. Alright, can I move back over yet? Oh, I want that glowstone. So let's go like this. Can we move over yet? I think we can. Yeah, here we go. Put a torch down. And move back over. And where are we? Where's there? There's glowstone under us, too. There. No, that's lava. Hmm, I swear there's glowstone under us. Um... Are we lined up with our thing yet? Nope, we gotta move over one. There we go. Now we're lined up. Right? Or are we off by one? I think maybe we're off by one. Hang on. We'll figure it out. There we are. Coming straight down. I can't tell. Okay, this is where we wanna be. Whoops. This is straight back. Okay. So glowstone. There's glowstone around here, and I think there's some under us. I thought there was some under us. Go away, fire. Let's see. Not going to get anything out of there. You go away, too. And I've been doing all this without a fire potion. Really? Okay, now we got it. I guess I've been not paying attention. Just going along, going for this glowstone I see. Is it just a trap, or is there actually going to be a way to get to that? Let's see, how can I get there? I really want that glowstone. I don't want to make my torch or my lamps and lights and everything. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. And then we gotta go over to the warp forest. But right now, this has my attention. 
Oh, glowstone, how excited I am to find you. This one I'm so touched, though, but I'm not worried about it. I dropped a few pieces, but I'm not worried about it. All right, let's clean up my mess, and let's get out of here. And keep an eye on the prize. Hey, buddy, you scared me. I know you can't do anything to me. Move. All right, so this was our way, right? Yes, we're headed to what now? 8,000? Oh, I'm kidding, there's like 400 something. All right, let's just keep going and see if there's anything else on the way as we like hang just below the nether ceiling here. And I almost fell down because everything blends in. Well, that was scary, but I think we're good. Never mind. continue, false alarm. Ooh, that looks like fun. I almost feel like I should be down lower so I can see where we're going instead of just being in this dark corridor that I'm making. But you know what? When I'm alone, I play safe in the nether. When I'm with other people, I do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? But alone, I play it very safe. I have no reason to play it safe. We can run around, do whatever we want, and if I get into trouble or I'm lost, I just hit the home command. <laughs> but I like to... I like to... I'm moving my head around. I like to um, play it safe anyway. It's a psychological thing I play with myself, I guess. Alright, where are we at? Like 200 or something? Where, what is it? 206. We have a long way to go before we get to that warp forest. Another reason why I like being here is this doesn't make a mess, right? Like if I'm running the server, I'm not going to have like cobblestone bridges everywhere this way and that. But at the same time, we're missing a lot of how the nether looks too. But um, we're still in the nether wastes for quite a while so it's just regular and other stuff below us all right i did not really expect to be this much oh there it is way down there i did not expect to be in the forest or in the forest in the ceiling this much now we got to figure out how to get down there oh there's a little raised part okay how are we going to get down here um i don't need my coordinates anymore i can see it um, we gotta find out. Okay, we can draw. Okay, we can staircase here. I'm like moving my head around. If you're wondering why it sounds different on the microphone. Okay, we can go over that direction. Let's go that way. Oh, we got some mingle blocks there. Or cubes, I mean. Can we staircase? I guess we can just drop. We'll survive the fall. Um, I want to put a torch where our thing is. We would survive the fall, but I don't want to fall. I want to staircase so then when we're building a path out this way if we ever do like I keep saying I'm going to make these nice gorgeous paths <laughs> to these places I kind of doubt I kind of doubt we're going to get that far um, I really doubt we're going to make nice nether paths but if I want if I plan to this is um there we go let's go that way I want to have a nice staircase <laughs> so we can navigate um, whatever. Oh, we can drop down there. Okay. And here we go. This is it. We're down. Um, that's we can find our way. Why am I freaking out? There's nothing to worry about here. The only thing to worry about, um, in this biome are the Endermen. And you just don't look at them. That's it. Right? I got gold on. And I don't think there's any brutes here. If there are, that's news to me. We have my shield anyway. Um, there we go. That'll mark our way back up. All right, because we got to get up there. Wow, that's a lot of breadcrumbs. More breadcrumbs than we need. <laughs> anyway, I do plan on having some kind of nice path out here. I don't know. I keep saying that. Are we going to? Who knows if we get that far or come back enough. There we go. That's your way. All right, I want a little bit of everything. Obviously nobody's been here. I don't have silk to... Oh, I don't have a hoe. Because you really want a hoe for this stuff. Right? A hoe is the preferred... Yeah. If you have a hoe, it goes really fast. Um, I don't need everything, right? I just need... Oh, and I don't... I do have silk touch on my shovel, right? Oh, wait. No, you want silk touch on a pick. Oh, I'm going to have to come back here with the right tools. Like I said, you want a hoe for all this. And you want silk touch on your pick for that, right? Yep. Um, so we need to come back. So I need, what do I need to do? I need to 
go diamond mining, right? Try to get my silk touch pick and then come back for all this stuff. Can I get this though? Can I get a shroom light? I'm really excited about the shroom lights. Okay, well that was a silly effort, but we made it out here. Um, I want that stuff. This. I can't remember what this is. Did I get it? Twisting vines, and there's an enderman too. Okay, so we're going to have to come back. We're going to have to get the right tools for the job. And um, come back with the hoe. And silk touch on our pickaxe after we go diamond hunting. Well, that's a bummer. Alrighty, so that means that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go diamond hunting to put silk touch on my axe. Pickaxe. And then um, there's a thing up there. Whoops. <laughs> get silk touch on my pickaxe. So I can get the stuff I came here for with the hoe. Oh, brother. What a lot of what a lot of work. I guess that's what we're going to do next and get some torches. While we're at it, let's brew some of our own... <laughs> um, our own fire resistance. Actually, let's not waste the thing... Um, because I took the stuff from the Goodwill, and I should probably start making my own. So let's do a full brew from scratch of fire resistance for eight minutes before we head back into the nether. But first we gotta get those diamonds I was talking about to make that hoe. Alright, then the main cream. I also have to figure out how to grow those trees. We're gonna have small little tree farms for these nether trees, because I want the wood to make signs in the nether. Like, I need a sign on that platform in the nether that says Sultan Valley, Warp Forest, you know, that type of thing. Crimson Forest, once we find one. But I have to figure out how to grow these trees. I'm sure it's not hard, just have to look it up and see how to do it. And there we go. More for us, which we'll just hold on to right now. So let's make a hoe before I forget. Oh, make a crap ton more torches. I can say crap ton on YouTube, can I? Um, oh, we don't have that many more torches. Oofta. Let's make some more. And... Make that hoe. Forgot to make that hoe. Actually, let's just take the one I already have. I already have one over here. I know. I keep jumping down my mountain. What's up there? Oh, just scary stuff. Okay. Oh, uh, I could read them. I'm not going to. There's my hoe. Well, that's going to go fast. Let's make a new one for this project. I don't remember how to make one. Is it just two off to the side? There we go. That'll help us in there in the warp forest. Do I have any more sticks? Yeah, let's make some more. Okay, so into our mine. We need three diamonds to make a pick. And then we'll, um... Whoops, where am I going? Mine is this way. <laughs> and then we'll put silk touch on it so we can get the mycelium, or not the mycelium stuff. Maybe it's called, my, I don't know what it's called. The special dirt, the special ground. Whoa, here we go. All right, where did I leave off? I think we were working backwards from here. I think we did all that way, did all... Whoop, no, you weren't. What? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused where we left off. Doesn't matter. This goes really fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... And then torch normally goes on seven, but because there's something there, we'll put it on six. And then we do another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put a torch on seven. The light level gets to like ten. So we have. I, I over torch anyway. Let me come back and get our stuff. And we do not need a shield for this. Get out of my face. Why are we so fire resistance? Oh, because when I logged out before, it didn't um, cancel. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to go until I find enough diamonds to get um, a pick. And then we'll head back to the nether, back to our warped forest. And then I'll have to find a crimson forest someday where people haven't been and demolish that thing. We probably aren't even going to find diamonds in this row because I found some in that other row next to us. So... Probably not going to find any, but I want some iron. Put a torch in there as well. And have a snack. And keep going until we find... Ah! Oh gosh, what was that? 
What is that? This is the, um... Yeah, you just die. This is the, um... Stuff I've been hearing. Yeah. I've been hearing all this cave activity when I was mining. And that lava pool that almost drowned me. That's it. Alright, well we'll come back and get that. Well, let's grab the coal. Just because we're running low back at home. And we got fortune, so we'll get a couple stacks here. Oh, I hear a zombie. So this cave obviously continues. Somewhere. Really close to us. That is a loud zombie. Might as well take this too. So yeah, there's another cave system around us somewhere. Not sure where. Maybe it's almost like that lava. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. Um, I guess... Okay, I was going to say, I better not have an empty bucket. Alright, so this is our path. Let's make all that gone. So it leaves us alone. There we go. This was that pool that was trying to drown us um, when I was mining before. So here we go. This means we're almost done, I think, with this row. Oh, there's more. And there we go. We broke through. No, that's the lava that was trying to kill us before. Alrighty, well, let's clean this up and then we'll take another gander. Um, down this next row. And um, maybe find diamonds this time since we're farther away from that other row where we found diamonds. I just want three diamonds. That's all. Just three. So I can get back to the nether and get my stuff. And diamonds. There we go. Hopefully it's enough that, um, oh yeah, for sure, because we have fortune on this thing. So there we go. Four blocks. How many are we going to get from four blocks? Nine diamonds. I am happy with that. So let's just finish this, whoops, finish this row and make our pick. And I'm also going to mine. So what I do is I always mine with Silk Touch. Always. Unless I'm doing a cobblestone project, which I don't really do much of those. So I always mine with Silk Touch. And then what I'll do is I'll bring everything back to my base and remine it with Fortune. Um, that's just how we do it. That way I don't have to carry two picks around. And um, the only thing I miss out on... Oh, and also I don't film inventory, right? Because if I'm using fortune on my inventory, you know, right, like this I'm using fortune, it fills up inventory with everything. So, um, I mine everything with silk touch. The only thing you miss out on then is not, I think there's another cave up here too, because I keep hearing that ravine. Um, the only thing you miss out on is getting cobblestone, which does have its place, but... I don't use it that much. So if I have to, I'll just jump into a hole with a regular pick to get my cobblestone if I need it. Otherwise, I still touch everything. Okie dokie, let's finish this off. Ugh, yuck. Where is that ravine thing? I saw it before and I hear it. Here we go. Did you see it glitch out? It's probably on the other side of where I started mining. In fact, yes it is. I remember now. Holy cow. Jeez, let's get going. Let's get out of here and we can finish our nether, careful nether exploration. Alright, we finally got through. I don't think I need a torch. In between those, nope, alrighty, we made it. We did two rows super fast, got some diamonds out of it. And, um, we're gonna head up. And I'm going to make that mine as long as as big as I can on level 11. Just not because the mathematics work out for diamonds. It's just safest because of the lava levels. Went the wrong way. How do you get home? <laughs> and then once I clear out all that for diamonds, I'll find another place to mine. Maybe go a little bit lower. Maybe go a little bit higher because you can get them up to level 16 or 15 or 16. In 1.16. Alright. What are we doing? We're making our pick so we can get back. We can get back. So here we go. I have everything set aside with my books. Nope, I gotta clear everything out first, don't I? What a mess. And put away the redstone. Where does it go? Redstone goes here. Boom, boom, boom. Now I can make my pick. Where's my diamond stuff? Got the books. Got the diamonds. We only need three diamonds. Should I make a diamond hoe for this? Why not? 
Why not make a diamond hoe? <laughs> Let's see. Pickaxes and shears, axes, shovels, and hoes. See, now we have an extra hoe because we're going to make one. Alright, here we go. We are going to make two items. Boom. boom. And we're going to go one, one, two, one, two. And we should have a thing and a thing. There we go. Now we're going to go down and we are going to put books on our dealio. We're going to give it mending. And we're going to give it silk touch. And this is going to be called softy for the silk touch, right? Let's call it silky. Let's spell it right though. Silk. Or should we call it silk lee? Oh, there we go. Silk lee. Boom. I'm going to put this other one away. So what we'll do now is we'll silk touch everything. And then if we get anything where we can use fortune on it, then we will look at, oh we already had one what we already had one i could have <laughs> whatever well now we have an extra one so there we go boom now we can do fortune when we get things that can get advantage with fortune later without filling up our inventory now we got our hoe so let's put that in place of that and we got our silk touch so let's go back we don't need that another. nether Let's go back into the nether. These are all eight minutes with our own fire resistance potions this time. And um, well, it's raining. Yuck, it can rain all it wants to. We're all by ourselves. Hey, kitty. Hey, doggy. Yep, I know you're standing on the ledge. And um, we can get the stuff from the warped forest. I wish I could find a crimson forest as well, but I need to run the roof to find that. Let's hop inside. All right, and a fire resistance right away. And I'm so excited to build our little oh boy don't know where you came from you can never see them leave me alone i don't even know where you are leave me alone in the hole i can't wait to build our tunnel thing but we need a ton of blackstone so i'm gonna be mining that off camera i'm just gonna grind that whole area like crazy i like to run here first because it's safe and look around for the main blocks cubes that are trying to kill us hello because they can jump far and they can do a lot of damage like that guy can definitely come get us from there. But I want their balls. I need their cream. That's the other thing. I gotta farm these guys. Hmm. Maybe we'll do an episode later where I just play music and I just farm these dudes for a while, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we have a ways to go. We gotta run all the way this way. And then we gotta turn. And we gotta finish this too. Again, off camera, I'm gonna finish this. Make it look all nice. We gotta run, 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 make a turn, and then, um, whoa, not fall off. Yikes. And then, come on. And then we get to a warp forest. Have a snack, and I'll see you when we get there. And we're already there. Look at that. It doesn't take long when you've already figured the way out. And we'll make nice stairs coming back up here. Alright. Ooh, should we trade with this guy? Should we trade with this guy? Hey, you. I think it's this key for me, right? Yep, come get it. Give me something cool. Trick or treat. Smile my gold. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. That is the weirdest... What? Soul speed, too. Nice. Put those on my feet. Nice. Thank you. I can use that. Anyway, that is just the weirdest rhyme. I'll pull down your underwear. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. What's over here? A lot more of this. Great. Okay, but we're going to come up here. Not look at any Endermen, because I think they can spawn in here, although I haven't seen any. And we are going to go to town on this. And um, like I said, eventually we'll grow our own, so we don't need to take down the whole forest, right? We're going to take down some of it. And then we're going to grow our own somehow. i got to look it up. I don't know how. And then, um... That's what we need to do, right? Wait, what? What's the best way to take this down? Is it with this? There we go. Alright, good. Boom. Take all this down. Like I said, we're just taking one, maybe two. Because we're going to grow our own. Um, that's the thing when I was... Helping manage a server. You have to remind the kids, you know, if you want mycelium, you don't have to destroy an entire mushroom island. Take one piece of mycelium and let it spread. The reason I'm taking so much of this is to make it look nice. There we go. 
you know, just take one piece and let it spread. And just like this, you don't have to take all this. We only really need to take this one. See, that's it. And then the rest will spread. But we'll just do this to make it look nicer. There you go. Look kind of natural. There. That's all we need. That'll spread. We can plant these things. Let's finish taking this down so it looks natural. Kind of. And then, um, we wouldn't even know anybody was here. Yet we have all the resources we need, right? We have all the block types we need. We got everything. And we'll just let it spread back at home. I don't know how to let it spread yet. I'm going to have to learn how to do that. I think you plant one of those, I think. Not sure. Not sure. We'll have to figure it out. Now the shroom lights, I don't think they grow back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple for now. And I think when we grow bleh, when we grow these trees back at home, that's how we'll get more shroom lights, right? So we don't have to go through here and destroy this entire forest and take all of its lights because when we go home and plant these trees, they'll grow more shroom lights. There we go. So that's it. That's all we need to do. That way we don't destroy the forest, but we have everything we need. And it's gorgeous. So let's take a selfie here. Somehow, not actually looking at the Enderman while we're doing the selfie. That'd be a bummer. Um, that's not a very appetizing view of the forest, is it? Uh, let's do something like this. Anyway, so we're done with what I wanted to do in this episode, but let's have a peek around the forest. Um, what do we got? Two minutes left on the stuff? Okay. Let's have a peek around the forest just because they're gorgeous. And, um, well, yeah, just don't look at that Enderman. There's some of this here, too. I like taking these because I think this is what you need to grow them. I think. I don't know. And no one's going to come up this high because we're, like, up in the ceiling. Ugh. Okay, this isn't where I wanted to go. Um... Do I have all of this stuff? I think I have all this stuff. I just want to take a peek at the... Oh, golly. Dude, come on. Where are you? Really? You're going to despawn? You're going to shoot me and then despawn. Why don't you hit that Enderman instead? Look at... There we go. I wanted to see more of the forest. Oh, we're going to make it. We made it. All right, good. Oh, yeah, we can put Soul Speed on our shoes now, too. So now we just have to run the nether roof. Oh, we need these, don't we, for something, I think? I think we need those. I can't remember. Anyway. Um, we need to find a Crimson Forest next. So what I'm going to do is I'll run the nether roof off camera. Just so I don't waste an hour of your time. And I want to try to find a Crimson Forest that other people haven't been to, of course. Um, I'm trying to find a way to get an overall view of this place because it's still up in the ceiling. There has to be a way to get lower. Hmm. Well, there's the end of the biome there. Man, I feel like this entire nether has been in the ceiling. There's some down there, but this is almost like a warp forest in the sky. Really. Like, it's all up high. All of it. Look at this. Huh. This is kind of cool. This is like our own secret little warp forest. I guess. Um, I'm not going to take all of those. I'm done. I already have 18. I don't even know what they're for. <laughs> and like I said, I want a lot more shroom lights. But, um... I don't want to destroy the forest. So we can just grow more ourselves. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm pretty sure of it. Anyway, I think that's how that works. Hey, dude, you're not a brute. No, okay, if they're not a brute, they don't care. They won't get you with gold. Alrighty, I think that's it. Like I said, I want a whole bunch more stuff, but... Um, I lost my way home. Whoopsies. I want a bunch more stuff, but there we are. Um, ha ha, ha ha ha. Ugh. Can I get it? Oh, crap. I hit the zombie piglin. No, the zombie crap. Here we go, guys. This is going to be a bummer. I did not mean to hit you guys. Oh, gall. Oh, boy. Move it, dude. Oh, move it. I did not plan to get into a pigman fight. 
We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, golly. Oops, now we're gonna attack them up here. This is not good. We're a goner, I think. I think this is how it ends, folks. Where are my damn blocks? We're dead. I'm gonna let us die. Nope, we made it. <laughs> ah, we made it. So what do you do? Just let them time out? Do they eventually time out? So what happened, if you didn't see what happened, was I shot an arrow at the ghast, and instead I hit the piglin. I hit the piglin instead, and now we're in big trouble. So, let's see. Now we basically have a, I don't think I need fire resistance, but now we basically have a piglin farm <laughs> going on in front of us. I mean, eventually they, um, time out, right? I mean, this can't be too bad because when we are, like, fighting, oh my gosh, when we're fighting these guys in the wither area and the old server, we had to get rid of them in order to, um, the gas is still there. You have to get rid of them. There we go. Did you drop a tear? I think you did, and I missed it. Are there more dudes coming? Yes. Um. Yeah, they're looking for me. Yep. Oh, it's a freaking baby. That's not good. Because he can jump that. <laughs> oh, dear. So what we need to do... I'm scared to go up on top and come up from below, like, down, because if this is opened up, they're going to jump down on my head. So I think I just need to sit here until they, um, time out. So that's what I'm going to do. That's going to end our episode, because my kids are texting me, and I don't know how long the timeout is. So I'm going to hide in this hole until they time out, and I will see you next time.